Hello, welcome to Asian Patriot. Uh, let me just mute myself. Hello, welcome to Asian Patriot. It's uh, already February 28th here in Korea. It's about 11 a.m. So good morning to you guys. And if you're watching from North America, then good evening to you guys. And I hope you guys are staying healthy away from the coronavirus. It's, it's already become a very big issue here in Korea. So wash your hands a lot and wear your mask when you go out to uh, and don't go to uh, you know, crowded places, okay? So, um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about the all-new Hyundai Elantra, which will be released here in Korea next month, which is also already March. Um, we're hearing about March 17th, and um, it's also called uh, Hyundai Avante here in Korea. And some of you also said, you know, didn't all-new facelift came out? Yes, it just came out uh, as a 2019-year model, so they're just releasing it just a, af a year after the facelift. Uh, so I'm going to try to show you and tell you why. Um, so we're going to do this live, so if you do have any questions, please do let us know. I'll try to uh, answer them as much as I know, because it's still a um, you know, spy shot review. There's still, for me, to lots of things I need to learn as well. So. Before we begin, uh, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and let's get started. Um, currently, Hyundai is selling something looking like this. Um, I saw it on the, even on the, for the U.S. and many other countries. This is actually a facelift of the sixth generation. Here in Korea, they released it about... Uh, 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 2019 year, so last year, so it's been just a little bit over a year. Um, but the sales weren't that great because I personally think because um, because of this uh, triangular headlamp. Um, many people didn't like it, um, including myself, and the sales weren't bad. And I think that's why Hyundai wants to roll out the all-new Elantra as soon as possible to... Uh, get the buyers back to the dealers um, because this one wasn't wasn't uh, selling very nicely uh, so and at and, and uh, many as many of you guys uh, my personal favorite was the before the facelift uh, sixth generation Elantra sports I think was the best looking Elantra so guys do let me know what do you think about the uh, facelift and which one do you think was the best looking Elantra ever in the comment section? Okay, so like I said, uh, to give you about the update about the date, uh, I think if the rumor is right, I think this all new Hyundai Elantra will be launched here in Korea on March 17th, um, which we have about uh, you know, 17 days, 19 days. Um, and Supposedly, Kia is supposed to release their all-new Kia Sorento a uh, week before that, so on March 10th. But like I said, the coronavirus is becoming a big issue here in Korea. And, um, you know, I hope the virus becomes contained very soon because I want to show you uh, uh, the release of the uh, Kia Sorento and also Hyundai Elantra and also give you a first drive on those two cars. So fingers crossed. Uh, Hopefully, uh, the, the things will turn out better, okay? So, okay, why don't we just uh, talk about front design. Um, many of uh, us uh, are kind of rumoring that all new Elantra will be released here in Korea as the, and the design will be heavily influenced by Hyundai Sonata, uh, which is in turn very heavily influenced by the Luffy Luge concept looking like this, uh, which underpins the, uh, their Hyundai's uh, sensual sportiness uh, as their new design language. So, And some other people also think the uh, grill pattern will be influenced by the new Tucson. Um, and this new Tucson is supposed to be released uh, sometime this summer. So guys, do let me know what do you think about the initial uh, thought about the front design. Cannot really see much, but as you can see, it's got the very similar to uh, Tucson grill in the middle. I think it has it on the top and on the bottom as well. Um, the headlamp seems to be quite aggressive, but really could not see it. So I looked around and there was this, uh, I'm going to have to pronounce it right, but 
they have something called Li Li Novo Automobiliste. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description. I already uh, left a link for the uh, Motor One. So Motor One, thank you so much. Could not have done it with you guys. And also uh, read their article as well. I left a link. And also for this one, Li Novo de Automobiliste. Um, in case you like to read their article, uh, but um, I could not understand that language. But I managed to find this picture uh, right alongside of Sonata. The all new Elantra is on the left side. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, but you can see the uh, it's got very distinctive grill pattern going on on the top and the bottom on, in the middle, and also has a very distinctive um, headlamp going on. Uh, it also has, seems to have a radar cruise control sensor on the bottom. Let me just show you this one. And luckily, uh, this one does not seem to have that triangular headlamp. Luckily, it's, it almost has like a boomerang uh, sort of a design. It sort of reminds me of a Sonata NF. Uh, so this, this one, I think, uh, has a very promising front end. So guys, do let me know what do you think about the front designs uh, by looking at the, uh, the guy's uh, picture from Le Nouvel Automobiliste. Uh, so thank you guys. I left a link in the description. So please uh, do support Le Nouveau Automobiliste as well. So, and I also wanted to share one more. Uh, it's actually a Korean YouTube channel. It's called Acha. <laughs> and uh, I try to look for uh, Kalusi RU, but they don't have it yet. But I usually uh, get help from them. But this guy. Acha also released this uh, thing, rendering image. So do let me know what you think about it. Uh, I left a link in the description, so please do, do go support the Acha channel as well. And uh, if you'd like to see the whole video, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, as you can see, it's got very uh, distinctive grill pattern in the middle. Looks just like a Lufalouge concept. and if you do continue looking, the headlamp actually, it's actually his uh, wall gas, but if it comes out like this, you see it's, it almost has a, like a boomerang, and he also drew it in many different colors. So do let me know which one is your favorite color. I like the red. Um, gray looks good too, and white looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so the car itself, uh, like, like the all-new Hyundai Sonata and Optima, the grill and the headlamp almost has no barrier in between. Um, and uh, just like the Hyundai Sonata, the grill and the front fascia is kind of cut off in the middle and looks very promising. I'm just glad it does not have that uh, you know, hideous triangular uh, headlamp on the front. And on the bottom, it also has a very aggressive uh, air uh, grill going on, air curtains going on there, but this is probably his wild guess, but you know Let's just hope it comes out like this and if you see the uh, near the sea pillar the slope comes down very uh, radically uh, Which just like the new Hyundai, I mean Kia Optima It seems like a fastback, but I, I think it's gonna have a proper trunk at the back. So Guys, do let me know what you think about the, uh, the first impression, uh, rendering images, and let me just say hi to you guys. So, let me just say. Spot on. So, you like it, Eddie, huh? So. Ooh. Anybody else? Okay. So, yeah, interior, I could not find anything about interior yet, Jay. Uh, but when we do, when we get more information, I'll let you know. Yeah, this, this all new, yes, Eddie, this all new um, Elantra looks very promising. Hello, Carrington. Yeah, coronavirus. <laughs> I know. I never knew it's going to be uh, affect this us this much. I mean, you know, lots of automakers are just canceling their uh, press releases and everything is really sad here. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys are, uh, you know, staying healthy. Oh gosh, what's wrong with the, okay. Hello, Chris. Uh, hello, Jim. 
Thank, thanks everybody for tuning in. Yeah. So thank you guys all loving our channel and please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the like button and if you do have any questions we're doing this live so please do let me know uh, what you like to know. I will try to show you as much as we can, as much as we know. So today I had to, uh, you know, give a lot of reference to other creators and other magazines because it was just too hard to find any information. So mm, I left uh, all the description in the uh, links in the description. So in case you'd like to uh, read an article for modern ones uh, and, uh, you know, support the uh, YouTube channel and everything, that's, that'd be nice. Um, so let's move on. So why don't we just talk about the site profile and some of you already asked me you know do I know the exact dimension <laughs> not as of now but uh, as new cars usually do I think it will grow in size just looking at this picture even um, you know pro proportionally I think this Elantra will be a lot bigger than the uh, previous gen generation um, and if you see the the C pillar it, after the C pillar it goes down just like the new Sonata it goes down very steeply so it almost looks like a you know fast back from here but as you see as I showed you with the key Optima it probably will have a proper trunk uh, at the rear so it seems to be very nice a uh, little bit concerned about headroom for the second row because of the sloping roof line but other than that I think it looks uh, very promising Okay, uh, let me also show you the rear design. Um, you know, it's heavily camouflaged under the, uh, uh, it's got a very sloping line, but other than that, it's heavily, heavily camouflaged. So you cannot see anything. So I try to find something else. And this uh, Korean car blog, I left a link in the description if you like to see their full article about it. And please do support them as well. Um, if you see, uh, I think this, they were saying this is probably N-Line, uh, which is like the, the new name for the Elantra GT. This will have a horizontal um, tail lamp, which looks pretty nice. I mean, I just hope it's not a triangular at the back, but I, I, I doubt they're going to make it like that. Uh, license plate in the middle, and it also has a single but dual tip on the right side. Um, so I think that's for the 1.6 liter turbo. Uh, speaking of the uh, tail lamps, why don't we just uh, talk about the possible engine lineup. Like, like I said, this is still spy shot review. Uh, we're still trying to gather lots of information. But some of the rumors says because, like I said, this, the facelift was, sixth generation facelift was introduced just last year, 2019 year model. So and some, some people, journalists think it's going to use just carryover engines, uh, which is 1.6 liter you know, naturally aspirated gasoline engine called SmartStream made it to CVT. But some other journalists also is, uh, you know, uh, speculating that it might also have 1.2 liter turbo for foreign markets and also 1.6 liter turbo definitely for the uh, N-Line, which is the new name for the Elantra GT. And this Korean car blogs were saying um, this is uh, what they think is uh, Elantra inline so and I think we also can uh, guess to have some uh, electrification going on on this all-new Hyundai Elantra so maybe Elantra hybrid Elantra plug-in hybrid and also Elantra EV and uh, I would love to see EV Elantra EV because I love uh, electric cars um, and nowadays they Hyundai seems to put like a long-range model with 64 kilowatt uh, electric motor so that's that's good for about 20, 240 miles, so it's a very decent, so, and, uh, you know, Elantra is a very nice, compact size car, so I, I would love to see electrification going on for that one as well. So if you do have any questions, uh, do, and also do let me know what you think about the rear design, uh, side profile, and everything, okay? So do let me know, read some of your questions comments uh, yeah I think maybe have a CVT but you can also get it with six-speed manual here in Korea as of now so I, I think I hopefully they will give us both 
Yes, it looks very promising, yes, Eddie. Uh, you know, if you've seen the new Azera, they have like a five-star thing going on on each side. So it's a little bit different. It kind of reminds me of the uh, old uh, Sonata, NF Sonata, uh, which, is, which, which is a little bit like stretched up, very sharp looking. So, but I think it looks like a boomerang like that. So that's also very, I think that it's going to be better than the, this one. So, oh yeah, maybe it's gonna have a 48 volt my the hybrid, but you know I have I haven't I haven't I've tested few uh, mild hybrid system and they're not quite effective. Uh, so hopefully they will also give us a EV model, baby stinger. <laughs> yeah, wheels may be different, might be different Rudolph because this is still a, just a test car. Uh, maybe they'll have a 18 inches GV80 hybrid. Yes, I would love to see a Palisade hybrid it's because you know Hyundai and Kia is uh, pushing uh, electrification very much. And uh, you know when we get uh, all new Kia Sorento, they're gonna have a hybrid system. I'm hearing 1.6 liter turbo based hybrid, so that looks very promising. And you know if they can put like a 2.5 liter turbo. Uh, based um, hybrid system for the uh, Genesis GV80 would be very nice and also for the Hyundai Palisade as well okay so yeah so I mean I try to uh, find as much as uh, information on this but not so much information yet but like I said we're gonna get to see the car uh, probably on the March 17th but you know, fingers crossed, because if the coronavirus just continues to grow, uh, spreading, then um, they might cancel the show. So, fingers crossed, but hopefully we'll show you the car um, and give you also a uh, first ride. A few, uh, let me just, uh, before we end the show, let me just give you a few updates. Uh, next uh, Monday, I think we're going to film the night drive for the My Palisade. Uh, we're going to was supposed to do it earlier, but we had the last press cars coming in. It was a little bit busy, so stay tuned for that as well. And uh, next uh, Thursday, we're going to go a uh, long trip with Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. Um, you know, just wanted to also show you how it efficient it is on the freeway and long trip. Um, you know, Hyundai Sonata Hybrid is supposed to return about 20.1 kilometers per liter, which is about 47 miles per gallon on average. So. I think we're going to have a, it's got about 50 liter gas tank, so supposedly we can drive about 1,000 kilometers, which is about 621 miles uh, with the full tank. So we're going to show you that on the um, on next uh, Thursday. And uh, many of you guys are waiting, but it was really, really hard to find the press car, but we finally got our booked uh, on the Genesis GV80. Uh, Prescott on the March 23rd, so we're going to fill them in on 24th and uh, try to give you a night drive, day drive, and also a uh, walk around review of that. So please stay tuned as well. So, any questions before we end? When is the next owner review? Oh, very good question. Um, it's a top secret. Uh, we have an owner who has uh, responded to uh, our request here in Korea. And uh, we're going to fill them in on March 8th. And we're not going to sh share which car it is, but it's going to be very, uh, it's a Hyundai. It's going to be a very fun car. So I look very forward to it. Um, yeah, so we're going to fill them in on the March 8th. And we're going to also upload that as soon as possible. So, cookie wheels. Yeah. Character. I will also show you the cookie wheel one more time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, you know, as I always tell you, uh, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and see you soon. Bye bye. And stay healthy away from the coronavirus. Bye bye.